I'm Billy Wickery and I'm a trainer for the Canine and Training Institute at the Humane Society of South Central Michigan. And I am Ann Berea and I'm also a trainer assisting Billy on our training. And this here is Mikey. Mikey likes training. Yes. He likes training because our training is all positive reinforcement based and that means we don't do anything negative to the dog. If he's misbehaving, we ignore his behavior and we try to persuade him to do something that we want him to do. When he does what we like him to do, we give him a small reward, a very tiny treat. And the treats should be about the size of a pea. Today we're using a mixture of Mikey's kibble that he eats all the time, which he seems to think is a really rewarding treat and some uh, commercial dog treats that we've broken into tiny pieces. So Mikey has been learning this morning what we call a bridge word. So a bridge word is something that you use because humans are slow creatures and we need to deliver his reward as soon as he does the right thing. So. If we're teaching Mikey to sit, as soon as he starts to sit, we want to tell him he's doing the right thing. So we introduce a word to him. At the training institute, most of the trainers use the word yes. So we start by teaching him the word and giving him a small treat. Yes. And give him a tiny treat. Mikey. So you saw when Mikey turned to start to come to me, I told him yes, and that told him he was doing the right thing. Yes. So the first thing we do is we just say the word yes and give him a treat. And say yes and give him a treat. And you do that uh, maybe 20 times, several times a day, so you just get a big handful of treats. Mikey! Mikey! <laughs> Mikey! Mikey! Good yes. job. Oh boy. Yes. You'll also notice that when he's jumping on us, we try to ignore the behavior. So we don't give him a yes. treat when Mikey. he jumps, Mikey. but once he puts yes. his four paws on the floor, he gets a reward. So it's a good thing to also teach strangers that want to pet your dog that they don't want to pet the dog, give him a lot of attention when he's jumping. They need to turn yes. until he does what he's doing right now. Yes. Yes. We also don't say a word to him until he has learned the behavior, sit. So once he knows the behavior, thank you, we will say the word to him, but we don't tell him sit until he's actually doing the behavior. I need to go get more treats. I need to. I got you. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'll go get some more. <laughs> oh, The next thing we would do in class is teach the dog his name. And you may think that it's not necessary to teach your dog his name or that he does know his name, but if you've ever said your dog's name and had him completely ignore you, he may not know his name because you use it all the time and it's just blah, blah, blah. But what we want is that when you say your dog's name, his head snaps around and he looks at you uh, expecting his next command or his next request from you. So the way that we teach the name is very similar to the way that we teach the bridge word or the bridge that tells the dog he's doing the right thing. Mikey, Mikey, come, Mikey, yes. So what we would do is just take the tiny treats again, Mikey. So he doesn't have to do Mikey. anything special to get a treat except come to our Mikey. side. Mikey. And sometimes it helps to back up when you say the name. Mikey. 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 Good boy. Yeah. Such a good boy. Mikey. Yes.
Oh, yes, <laughs> what a good boy. Mikey. Now, a reward, reward can also be petting or happy voice. Good boy. Good boy. Mikey. Yes. Oh, good boy. Responding to his name already. When we say his name, Mikey. he comes to us. Good boy. Mikey. Yes. Good boy. Mikey. Oh, belly rub? Yeah. Little bit. So if your dog is not responsive to treats, or is reluctant to take them. Toys are also good rewards. Mikey, Mikey, hi, do you like toys? Do you like toys? So not every dog likes the same kind of reward. And Mikey responds really well to praise and to petting. He also likes treats, so he's a good food made motivated dog. He's not so motivated by toys but it may be that he's just never learned to play with toys. So you might have to teach your dog to play with toys. And you know, that can take a while, but with patience, most dogs will learn to play. Oh no squeaks in this one. Here we go. Hi, you like this toy? No, I want her treats. I want <laughs> treats. Oh, you, yes, yes, good boy. So I think the other good thing to remind people is you don't have to train your dog for a long time. You should do it in, especially the younger the dog, shorter increments. So sometimes it's 10 minutes when you have a break to be able to go give your dog a little bit of training and then give them a break and maybe get back to it later in the day. They definitely could get tired with 30 minutes of this and maybe a bit full. Probably, yeah, for a puppy, about 15 minutes is all you need. And training more often is better than the length of time that you train. So with a puppy, what I usually recommend is that you train them at feeding time when they're hungry and you use their kibble to train them. Uh, that's probably even better than commercial treats. Mm -hmm. They certainly are willing to eat it, at, especially at feeding time. So if you're feeding your puppy three times a, a day, you've got set three training times and you've got your treats built in. You're not giving your dog extra treats. So you're keeping an eye on their weight. Hey, sweetie. Oh, good boy. You can see he's already getting a little tired. But he's also okay. learning to sit. Beautiful boy. He is a very pretty boy. So I guess to finish it, um, of course, these dogs that we are working with are available for adoption. Mikey is an adorable guy and there's a bunch of other dogs available. Um, so look up, go to our website and check out the great dogs. But in addition, uh, we're going to start doing formal Canine Training Institute classes. We're going to be starting at the end of June, six week sessions. We'll have three sessions this year. And then we're also gonna offer something new, which is one-on-one -on -one sessions. So go to the website, check it out. There's a registration form and hopefully we'll see you all there.